Hello friends, welcome to my channel Genius Kids. Today again I can come up with a new video about the Silver Zone Class 3 International Mathematics Olympiad 2023-2024 Preparation Practice Set Part 2. In previous video, I already shared Part 1 videos, uh, some questions in Part 1s. In Part 2, I will share the remaining 10 questions of this question set. Okay, so let's start. So before we start, again a gentle reminder that uh, the total maximum marks is 100 duration 40 minutes and total number of questions is 30 okay and this year there is a first olympiad date is 23rd november this is the next uh, next month and the 28th december uh, uh, 2023 and these are the these are your syllabus okay so now let's in the section b in section a, I already shared the 20 questions of section A, that is a mathematics part. I will give you the part 1 or uh, part 1 uh, link in the description box. You can uh, go, uh, you can check uh, the first part from that link. Okay, and the friends who are still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe channel for more videos, more practice sets about the Olympiad exams. Okay, so let's start the section B reasoning and aptitude part. And these are the question number 21 to 25. So the first question is insert the missing number. So here you see in first circle there is a 41 four five one hundred thirteen seven eight and we need to find out which one is the question mark so if we see observe this first part so this is 41 so how we'll get 41 if we do square of both four square and five square and then add this we will get 41 in similarly in seven square plus eight square and you add this you will get 113 so it is 49 it is 64 and it will get a 113 similarly it is 16 25 it will give 41 so in the third way similarly these are the uh, these are the relations so in the same way we'll do this thing and uh, uh, and add both the square so this is 36 and this is the 81 and the number is 7 and 8 at 3 11 so 117 okay 36 81 6 plus 1 7 3 plus 8 11 so answer d is so option d is your correct answer next one there are eight students sitting on two benches facing each other as shown in the given figure p q r s a b c d if p interchange a seat with b p interchange seat with b and r interchange with d okay then who is in front of p so if p is here if p is here not b and b is here similarly d is here and r is here so who is in front of p in front of p is q so option a is your correct answer next question find the mirror image so we need to find out the mirror image so if you see this mirror image if you see this will be g so dg if you see this option a c and d is the option so b we can eliminate b first then 7 so 7 will come this way so if you see this is f so uh, this is 7 7 7 okay f mirror image f this one so f is in same similar way so we can eliminate a if you see c and d both are same now 5. How 5 will be there? 5 will be written as here, this way. So if you see option D. Option D is your correct mirror image of the uh, given numbers. Okay. Next question. If N equal to 14, NO equal to 29, NOT equal to 49, then stone equal to how much? Okay. So in this type of question, if first you what you do you write this way first we let write the all the letters okay a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o 
P Q R S T U V W X Y Z and put the number one two three against this one two. Let me change the color to the let blue. So one two three four five six seven eight nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now see, here say n equal to 14. So n equal to 14. See, so n equal to 14, n equal to 14, n equal to 29. So n equal to 14, o equal to 15. So 14 plus 15 is 29. So n equal to 29. N O T n o is equal to 29, t is 20, so 29 plus 20, 49. So, in this stone, so if you see that stone or n o t, it will be equivalent to 49. So, s, here this is 49, and this is a e. Now, what is a s? What is the value of s? s is 19 plus 49, and e is 5. Now add all this. So what will get? 9 plus 9, 18. 18 plus 5, 23. 3. 2 plus 4, 6. 1, 7. So stone equal to 73. So option B is your correct answer. Okay. You need to do this type of, uh, so you need to solve this type of questions in this way only. Next one. How many squares are there in the given figure? If you calculate all the figures, all the squares, you will find there are 16, 16 number of squares in this figure. So option C is your correct answer. Okay, understood? Okay. Go for the next section. This section C, that is the scholar zone section. And uh, in the scholar zone section, there is 20, it is 20, sorry, it is 25 to 30 number of questions is here. So let's start in the scholar zone. The 26, sorry, 26 to 20, 30 number of questions, five questions are in these sections. For one cube, how many cubes are needed to make the solid shown in the figure? So to make the solid of this figure, you need to add this cube. And if you add or if you put the cube, calculate the cubes to make it solid, you find that there are you require total number of 33 number of blocks to make to make this cube a solid okay next one figure shown below is made up of six identical squares and six identical equ equilateral triangles find the perimeter of the whole figure now what do you mean by equilateral triangles equilateral triangle means the triangle which has all the sides are equal. Okay. So, if you see six identical square and six identical equal triangles, if you see in this figure, this line is, it is 38 centimeter. Okay. So, this, as this is a square, both are square. So, these two are equal as because these are six identical squares. So, what is the middle of this? What is the what is the one side of a, a square? That is 38 divided by 2. That is 19. So this one is 19. So if this one is 19, then this one also 19. Now if you see, and this one also 19. Now is the, as the triangles, all the triangles are equilateral triangles. So is this 19? Then this is also 19 because this is a, all the squares are equivalent. Then if one of these sides are 19, then all of the sides are also 19. So all the, and what you ask, they find the perimeter. So now what is the perimeter? Perimeter means the addition of all the sides. So now how many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So total 16 number of sides and each side how what is the uh, what is the length of in each side that is 19 centimeters so 16 into 19 that that is the your the perimeter of this figure so 16 into 19 how much 16 into 19 
so option d is your correct answer understood we need to divide 38 divided by 2 because whole total length is 38 and as the all the squares are equivalent so these are these this uh, both are the length are same so it will be divided so one is divided by 2 and that is 619 and if for the triangle uh, as this is one of the side uh, of the triangle is 19 so as a, for as these triangles are all the equilateral triangles so all the sides are same then all these sides are also 19 centimeters okay so we need to find out we need to find out the total number of 16 sides into 19 that is 304 centimeter is the perimeter okay next if the value of 3 circle is 48 and value of 2 square equal to 5 equal circles then the value of 2 circles per square is how much okay so 3 circle is equal equal to 48 so how much is one circle it is 48 sorry 48 divided by 3 that will be 16 so one circle is equivalent to 16 now if you see 2 square now if you see the 2 square is equivalent to how much 5 circles 5 circle means 5 into 16 that is equivalent to 80 so what is the 1 square 1 square is 80 divided by 2 that will be 40 so now what is the value of this this is 16 this is 40 this is 16 so 16 plus 16 36 36 plus 40 it is 70 uh, sorry 16 plus 16 32 32 plus uh, 40 that will be 72 so option b is your correct answer okay next question a b c is a three digit number in which a b and c stands for a digit okay so we can write uh, o t h we are right a b c digit b is the largest odd number see here the statement is little bit wrong here it should be the statement is digit b is the largest one digit odd number so which is the largest one digit odd number which one is largest one digit odd number largest one digit odd number is 9 okay so we can put here 9 sum of a and c is equal to b so a plus c that is equal to b that is equal to actually 9 b equal to 9 while c is 4 less than b c is 4 less than b so b is 9 so 9 minus 4 that will be 5 so here we put 5 and now 5 a plus c equal to 9 so a plus 5 equal to 9 so a equal to 9 minus 5 that equal to 4 so if we put 4 so 495 so what is the number number is option c 495 okay understood now the last question in the figure given below all the blocks are identical so all these blocks are identical all box the body height of the standing girl is 138 centimeter body height so body height of this girl is so this is 138 centimeter based on the above information first identify p and q and then choose the correct option so we need to find out the p height of p and q okay now if you see the girl is 138 centimeter now this girl is 130 meter if we increase this this is two blocks so two blocks that is equivalent to 138 centimeter why because that is the girl side so what is the value of one block this 138 divided by 2 that will be 69 okay 69 centimeter one block is 69 centimeter now how much is q q is equivalent to three 
blocks. So it will be 3 into 69. So that will be equal to 3 into 9. 27, 7, 2, 3, 2, 3 into 6, 18 plus 2, 20. So Q is 207 centimeter. Now how much P? P is equivalent to 5 blocks. So P equal to 5 into blocks. So 5 into 69. That will equivalent to 345 centimeter. So P is 345 centimeter, Q is 207 centimeter. So which option is correct? So option B is your correct. Okay. So these are the part 2 of uh, practice set 1 questions for class 3 for the 2023-2024 preparation. Hope you like the video. I will take new videos in the, I will come up with the new videos in the next uh, videos and friends who will still not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and click the subscribe uh, bell icon so that when, you, uh, when I upload the new videos, you can get the new videos. Okay. Thank you friends. I will come, I will see you in the next video in very soon. Thank you.